In their fourth spacewalk, astronauts from the shuttle Endeavour have successfully fitted the Hubble telescope with equipment to correct its blurred vision. But scientists will have to wait up to two months to find out if the repairs have worked. This morning's spacewalk again went like clockwork. The astronauts' aim was to replace one of four large instruments on board with a new device to help the telescope focus properly. Using special powered tools, the astronauts' first job was to open the doors in the telescope. Then, on the robot arm, Cathy Thornton, KT as she's known, carried the new instrument over to install it. Okay, you've got about two feet to go. You're looking real good. I just keep going, KT. The new optic device, the size of a telephone box, was slowly manoeuvred towards the telescope. The device has a series of arms with mirrors at the end which unfold. The mirrors, the size of coins, will correct the fuzzy image. A galaxy 50 million light years away looks like this with telescopes on Earth. The Hubble, with its faulty mirror, saw it like this. Better but not perfect. With the new optics fitted today, astronomers will be able to see individual stars. Earlier, in an interview from Space, astronaut Story Musgrave explained the significance of the mission. Uh, this one is very important because an instrument like Hubble, uh, a very, very powerful instrument, an instrument that conceptually can not only give us great science, but also gives us a sense of what is our place in the universe. I think that's why it touches people all the way down to elementary school kids. I think that is why it's so important, because it touches all of humanity. With one more spacewalk tomorrow, it's already gone better than NASA dared hope. James Wilkinson, BBC News. The mission to restore the orbiting telescope to its full capacity has been the agency's biggest challenge since the Apollo moon landings. ITN's Anya Sitaram reports from Houston in Texas. Yep, I've got it. Let it go. Opening the doors on Hubble's troubles, the astronauts tackling the root of the telescope's problems, its faulty mirror. Cathy Thornton, on the robot arm, eased out the fridge-shaped light detector, which would be replaced. Looking good. And then she hoisted CoStar, which contains the new mirrors, which will correct Hubble's myopia. A minute flaw in the telescope's main mirror has meant that starlight looks blurred. Tom Akers checked that everything was clear for the $15 million optics to be installed. Like a pair of spectacles, they'll sharpen the blurred images from the main mirror. After three hours of intricate and painstaking work, time for Tom Akers to relax. Deborah Houston, uh, we've got a good shot of you, Tom, from the elbow, if you want to wave to Kay and the girls. It's fantastic. we got new eyes and we got a new brain. So what else can you ask? <laughs> With one more spacewalk to go, no one is celebrating yet. But the most ambitious space program since the moon landings is on track. For Americans, it's a touch of the right stuff. So what was once named Mission Impossible has gone exactly as NASA would have wished. There's only one more task to do for the mission to be declared a total success. With the instruments now in place, the cure... Ripping his round, the BBC science correspondent James Wilkinson reports. This morning, the astronauts completed their fifth and last spacewalk. Wearing space gloves made the fiddly job of replacing some electronics difficult. At one stage, they dropped a screw. There was a risk it might get lost in the shuttle and cause damage. By swinging the robot arm, they were able to chase it. The astronauts also helped move the arm holding the solar panels. The main problem with the telescope was that it couldn't focus properly. Yesterday, the astronauts fitted a device the size of a telephone box to correct the problem. In space, the astronauts wear bulky space suits to protect them from the harsh environment. The suits keep them the right temperature and enable them to breathe. But inside the shuttle, it's like a home from home. Well, almost. The weightlessness makes eating difficult. A fried egg would simply float off the plate, so their meals are in little plastic sachets. And with seven astronauts, things can get a little crowded. On the flight deck, there's time to take pictures of the Earth through the roof. British astronomers like Dr. Jerry Gilmore from Cambridge are delighted at the success of the mission. Oh, there's only one way to describe it, and that is a spectacular success. It has achieved everything that everyone hoped might have been feasible, and it's achieved it with no troubles at all. It's really quite a remarkable performance. The astronauts will spend the weekend packing up, ready for landing on Monday. The next job, to fold down the arms with the solar arrays at right angles to the telescope. Great. All right, good job, guys. Finally, just before the spacewalk ended, the solar arrays were unfurled. 
The Hubble repair mission was the most ambitious space engineering feat NASA has ever undertaken. Day by day, the astronauts proved their worth on... The mission to repair the Hubble telescope is being described as one of the most successful in NASA's history. It's given the space agency a much-needed boost. The astronauts touched down at just before 5.30. Their 11-D mission, an unqualified success. Touchdown. They'd carried out five arduous spacewalks in as many days. And although NASA says it may well take six weeks before they have final confirmation, the early signs are that the one and a half billion dollar Hubble telescope is at last working properly. I describe it as NASA had the courage to go for it all, to do absolutely everything on Hubble that it needed doing. They, they did. They had the courage to go for the whole thing. 